good morning dear students as we seen in the previous class so how to solve the gradient of a scalar diversion of a vector and curl of the vector so with the help of that we will see the actual problems based on this our vector calculus that is problems on vector norm uh, unit vector normal so just i want to uh, go point number 6 so i have given already in the previous lecture so unit vector normal n cap along with del phi is given by n cap is equal to del phi upon modulus of del phi so i will use this concept and uh, we will see uh, how the unit uh, vector normal is going to be calculated so now the example is find a unit vector normal to the surface so they have given surface this is the value of phi surface means this is the value of phi x square y plus 2 x uh, z is equal to 4 at the point 2 minus 2 and 3 so these are the values i have taken from the question so phi is nothing but given so here one thing you can observe here so x square uh, y plus 2 x z only have taken and this 4 i have left because so partial derivative of this 4 is a what your constant 0 leave you can include this or you can you can exclude also okay so any constant number is coming you can leave it and you can write only the variables here then in the question they have given the point also that is 2 minus 2 3 i have taken that also so with the help of this so unit vector normal will find here so as we know that the unit normal vector is given by n cap is equal to del phi that is gradient of phi divided by modulus of gradient of phi we need to calculate this actually so for this what all things we required phi so phi is already is there so we need to calculate del phi so now so what is del phi so del phi is equal to so it is do phi by do x of i plus do phi by do y of j plus do phi by do z of k so we'll see now so how it works so i want to apply directly so pay attention so how i want to apply so we know that what is phi phi is nothing but this x square y plus 2 x z so will this phi this complete value will differentiate partially with respect to x so what is the partial derivative of this term x square y plus 2 x z so it is 2 x y is a constant as it is plus 2 and z is constant so uh, partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so you, what you will left here 2 x z will become what here 2 z of i as it is similarly same phi will partially derivate with respect to y so at that time here x square is a constant so y is 1 partial derivative of y is 1 and here it is purely 0 so i will write plus 0 because no y term is it is purely constant so constant partial derivative with respect to y is 0 of j plus next so same thing again that is phi will uh, derivate partially with respect to z means x square y with respect to z is constant which is 0 plus so here partial derivative of 2 x z with respect to z is what here 2 x of k so i'll rearrange so del phi is equal to what left here among this it is 2 x y plus 2 z of i plus here we have left only x square of j here we have left with 2 x of k so we got this so this uh, phi of uh, del of phi we need to pass through what here the given point 2 minus 2 and 3 so therefore our del phi at the point 2 minus 2 and 3 it means the value of x is 2 value of uh, y is minus 2 and value of z is what here 3 we need to apply here so therefore if you apply x is equal to 2 uh, y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to 3 so this will become how much here it is minus times 2i just check it okay plus 
So if you put x is equal to 2, only x time is there, x is equal to 2 square, it is 4j. And here you need to apply again x value. So x is 2, 2 2 is a 4. So it will be 4k. So we got del phi uh, with respect to the point 2 minus 2 3 as minus 2i plus 4j plus 4k. So with the help of this, we will go for now what here? Uh, n cap that is no unit normal vector that is therefore therefore n cap is equal to del phi what is del phi we got it is how much it is division line minus 2i plus 4j plus 4k and what do you mean by modulus modulus is nothing but square root of coefficient of i that is minus 2 square coefficient of j that is 4 square plus coefficient of k 4 square so on simplification we'll get as that is n cap as minus 2i plus 4j plus 4k whole divided by simplification of this is out here uh, 2 square is 4 plus 16 plus 16 so here in the numerator i have taken 2 common so it is minus i plus 2j plus 2k divided by this is 36 so therefore n cap will be 2 times minus i plus 2j plus 2k divided by root, uh, root of 36 is how much here 6 so 2 1s are 2 3s are so we will get finally minus i plus 2j plus 2k whole divided by 3 is the required unit vector normal for the given surface x square y plus 2xz plus 4. Now we will see the next example. Find a unit vector normal to the surface x y cube z square is equal to 4 at the point minus 1 minus 1 2. So I have taken 5 and the point. Now the unit vector normal is given by n cap is equal to del phi divided by modulus of del phi so therefore so we know that what is del phi del phi is nothing but do phi by do x of i plus do phi by do y of j plus do phi by do z of k so partial derivative of this phi we have to make it with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z so with respect to x what happens here the partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so what left here only y cube z square is going to be left here plus with respect to y so at that time x is a constant so partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3 y square into z square as it is of j plus partial derivative of phi with respect to z so at that time what happened here 2 times x as it is y cube as it is partial derivative of z square is what here 2 times z of k so this is what here del phi so now del phi we need to find at the point minus 1 minus 1 and 2 so what happens if you apply the point so del phi at the point minus 1 minus 1 and 2 so if you apply the value of y is minus 1 and z is 2 you will get this as minus 4i second value if you put x value as minus 1 y value as minus 1 and z value as 2 you will get it as minus 12 times j next you will get as what here if you apply here the value of x y z it will become 4k so with the help of this we will go for the formula so therefore n cap is equal to division so del phi so del phi it is 4i minus 12j plus 4k divided by square root of minus 4 square plus minus 12 square 
plus 4 whole square so which is equal to so among this you take 4 common it will be minus i minus 3j plus k divided by so result of this square root of so it will be So this will be on simplification we get 4 root 11 so 4 4 cancel so n cap will be finally that is unit vector normal is minus i minus 3j plus k divided by root So next example I will take it as find a unit vector normal to the surface x square y minus 2 x z plus 2 y square z raised to 4 equal to 10 at the point 2 1 minus 2. So again so here so 5 value I have taken and the point I have taken the unit vector normal is nothing but n cap is equal to del phi divided by modulus of del phi so as we know so del phi is nothing but what here del phi is do phi by do x of i plus do phi by do y of j plus do phi by do z of k so we will again we know that this is our phi value so this phi value we have to partially differentiate first with respect to x in the second term with respect to y in the third term with respect to z so we'll see one by one so del phi is equal to so with respect to x phi will become out here it is 2xy here also x is there once minus 2z here no x means 0 leave it of r plus Again, phi we have to differentiate partially with respect to y now. So while making y, so here in the first term we have y means only x square because y with respect to y is 1, leave it. Next, minus second term is free from y, purely constant 0, leave it. Third term is nothing but plus 4yz raised to 4. Okay, next of j plus third term with respect to z, first term is 0, leave it second term is what here minus 2x because with respect to z is minus 2x and plus uh, z raised to 4 means uh, means 4 to the 8 times y square of z cube of k now this phi we have to calculate for the point 2 1 minus 2 So on simplification I have taken this calculation so after applying 2 1 minus 2 we will get uh, this as 8i and this term will become 65j and this term will become minus 68k so n cap is equal to what here del phi of square modulus means square root of that and on simplification 8i plus 65j minus 68k of square root of 8913 so you can stop here. So in this way the problems on what here unit vector normal. So in the next class we will see the next concept.